Croito is channel blight fluid. Long last we are back with Tennis Ace. And this time my computer is running fine, so there'll be no problems with that. Yeah, there's been so many uh, new ones coming out, new updates for things that kind of had a hard time fitting Tennis Ace in. Since I'm so far behind Basket with updates, I don't need to try and keep up with him. So uh, I can just do these when I want, and yeah, things went a bit behind. Speaking of being a bit behind, sorry about the lack of backbone in the week, but I came down with a virus, non-COVID, don't worry. But I mean, I had a sore throat, I was having problems talking, so I had to just postpone that. That'll be uh, next week now. I will get that done. And see, as you see, we're getting back into tennis ace, and I'll try and keep this circle more often from now on. It's no long breaks. And if you remember, we did end abruptly due to the GPU failure. So we're going to just do a quick recap of what led up to the interrupted sentence and we'll carry on from there. We're on day 24. So I'm heading back to my desk to pick up my bag. I see June slumped on his, looking completely defeated. You okay there, big guy? I barely got any sleep this past week. Come on, it can't have been that bad. Well, last time I slept was on Wednesday. I take it back. That is really bad. You just get home and try to relax. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep telling myself I'd rehearse as soon as Tess ended, but I don't feel like I have the energy for that. I give him a few comforting pats on the back, feeling sorry for the poor tiger. Hang in there. I'm sure you've done your best. I really need to get meta with studying. Maybe looking to get in a tutor? Oh yeah. What are you going to be doing the rest of your day, Hector-san? Hmm. I'm unsure. I want to spend time with Shuichi, but we haven't talked much this week since he's so busy. He basically keeps his phone turned off whenever he's studying so no one will disturb him. Keeping his phone turned off? What's a good idea? Why didn't I think of that? Man, you really need a good lesson on self-discipline if you want to have any chance of actually graduating. You're telling me that like I don't already know. Do you have any idea how well you did on the tests? Probably not well at all. I could barely even understand some of the questions. That doesn't exactly make me hopeful. Well, any chance they'll give me a do-over of doing like I was sick and on bed rest this week? You literally already came to class and took the tests. They'll know it's a lie. Oh, right. Well, that's a good point. My god, his brain must really be fried right now. June might be a little oblivious, but that was just downright stupid. Well, I'm sorry if this sounds like I'm ditching you, but... I'm going to try checking on Shuichi. Hopefully you have some free time now. Yeah, you're not ditching me. I need to head home and rest for a bit. Good luck with Shuichi-san. Thanks. Do be careful in crossing the streets. Don't need you being run over because you weren't paying attention. Please don't say something so morbid with a smile on your face. The hallways are filled with students heading home. Usually a lot of the student body sticks around after class. Either staying in the classrooms to chat or maybe going to their clubs. But this? This is a mass exodus. Not that I blame them. Who would want to stay here after a whole week of tests? Most of the people I see are dragging their feet looking absolutely exhausted. Midterms are no joke. They're a student's worst nightmare. I make my way to Shuichi's classroom. Hopefully you won't have bailed already. Oh, hector -kun. On my way over there, I somehow run into Keisuke and Saya, walking together and chatting. Since her class is between mine and Shuichi's and I'm going the opposite direction, I guess it's not too weird that I'd find her here, but... What's Keisuke doing on this floor? Hey there, Keikun. I'm surprised to see you of all people here. Oh, what? Why? I know you're smart, but I didn't expect to find you taking the seniors midterm. Ah, that's what you mean. Obviously I wasn't. I just came up to your floor to try and talk to Arata. Yeah, and I bumped into him on my way out and we spent a few minutes chatting. A big coincidence, huh? And then you bumped into me on the way back. A three-way coincidence. Yeah, don't call it that. All right, all right, fine. Either way, how did you guys do with your tests? I did my best. Hopefully that'll be enough. 
You've always been really good at your academics. I doubt you'll do badly. <laughs> Thanks. That helps me, me cheer up a bit. I'm pretty sure I'll do well. I've been reviewing the subject quite often for the past month. I have a very good grasp on it. Well, good to see at least someone is calm about it. Junkun is probably freaking out, huh? You have no idea. If I squinted and turned my head just right, I could barely make up the smoke coming out of his head. Probably doesn't mean he's crashed and burnt. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. That bad. Yes, I tried asking about his exponential map, since one of the questions in the math test was about exponential functions. He thought I was talking about a game called Exponential that had a map in it. You're kidding. I wish I was. I could at least laugh it off, since it sounds absolutely ridiculous. That's pretty bad, yeah. I'm really worried for Jun Kun right now. Academically or in general? Or both? Yeah, that's understandable. I love the dude, but he seems to have no control over his own life most of the time. How about you? It's probably super easy for you, like always, huh? I wouldn't say that. Did you even study at all? Mm, I did review the subject a little bit the days before, but not much other than that. I hate how you can barely study and still do well. You wouldn't be the first to tell me that. I do two to four hours of review and study every day when I get home from school. It's so unfair you can get by with barely anything. I can't love that I'm good at retaining information. Where are you going anyway? The exit is the other way. I was planning on meeting at Washuichi. Saya laughs and squeals, making Keiko look a little funny. But otherwise she remains completely silent. That was... weird. You think so? I can't tell anymore. Hey, Keiko, didn't you say you had someone waiting to pick you up at the gate? Oh, right, I'd almost forgotten. If you do, excuse me, I need to go. All right, catch you later. Bye-bye. As soon as he walks away, Sire starts smiling from ear to ear. Staring at a smile like this is really starting to creep me out, too. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Checking up on the boyfriend, are we? That's so cute. Yes, please say it louder. I think there's a deaf child in America that didn't hear you the first time. What? I wasn't even that loud. I look around me for any signs of people having overheard us. No heads turning in our way, so I guess that's a good sign. You worry too much. And you're way too carefree about this stuff. Yeah, I'm just the right amount of carefree. Whatever you say. Is this why you casually reminded Kei Kun he needed to leave? So you could talk freely about it? Yes, aren't I sneaky? Mm hmm a veritable modern-day ninja. Anyway, I wish I could hang out with you guys. I'm sure you two mustn't have had time to yourself this week, so I'll give you two some space. Well, I lost I rain to pick up a shift at the diner today. I'll do any over the week, and I'm a bit strapped for cash. See you later, Hector Coon. Go get him. I think I liked it better when she didn't know about us. Let's see. Hopefully Shuichi will still be here. Wow, there are quite a few students still here. Are they studying? Oh, Hector Kuhn, what are you doing here? A voice calls my attention on the other side of the classroom. I see a familiar figure. Menazuki, you're in this class? Paul, this is because I've totally forgotten this character's voice. <sighs> Let's go with something. <laughs> Me, Ips, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. I'm just visiting a friend who is. She points to the raven sitting on the desk she's sitting on. I think I've ever seen him before. No, wait. Wait, isn't that the basis of the band that performed during the festival? Yep, Kakaho Kun is the band's leader. That is not true. Shh, just roll with it. It gives you more respect. Well, I guess it makes sense for you two be friends since you're both in the band. It's really shocked you of all people would be in a band, though. The calico laughs. Hopefully you enjoyed the performance. From what I heard, our manager is your friend, too. Oh, yeah, Keikun mentioned he joined your band as the manager. He's the one who composed the song I sang, too. Sadly, I had asked him to fill in for me as a singer the day of the show, but he refused. 
What? Wait, what? Why did you ask him that? She had lost her voice the day of the show, and instead of calling it off, she just waltzed into a doctor's office and made them fill her with meds so she could still sing. What? It was not my fault. We couldn't just cancel the performance. Kay Chan didn't want to sing. The raven sighs. If you say so, I still disapprove. Either way, did you come here for some reason in particular, Mishimaya? All oh, right, yeah, I was looking for Shuichi, but I guess he isn't here. I mean, if I'd failed to spot him, he'd have come to me once he saw me talking to people in his class. Ratku, I didn't see him when I got here, so my guess is he'd already left. Yes, maybe you should try the student council room. That's uh, just a hunch, but I think he might have gone there. He didn't seem like he was heading home. All right, cool. Uh, thanks for the help. Um, uh, Gagaho. All right, thanks for the help, Kagaho san You two have a good day. Yeah, maybe you can watch this rehearse later, Hector Kuhn. I'm sure that would shock and first decay, Chan. I'd love to see that. You're evil. I like it. She laughs again. Yes, throw this wild idea out there. Uh, maybe don't torment our juniors. Mm, nah, tormenting him is more fun. See you guys later. A few minutes later. Wow, the secondary building is completely deserted. I guess it makes sense since clubs are suspended till Monday, but still. Let's see, what floor is the student council room on again? I've only been there a couple of times, I needed to ask for directions every time. Is there anyone around I could ask? I'll try checking the next floor. As I'm heading to the stairs, I see a familiar white wolf going down. Haruki, what are you doing here? Or is it Haruka? I can never remember. People keep telling me in the comments, and I cannot remember these names. He raises an eyebrow as soon as he sees me. Yes, sucker greetings. <laughs> but Leo doesn't. And you just plain suck. Anyway, can you answer my question? I was meeting up with someone. Was it the Chuichi? Well, I'm not already got enough of them on volleyball practice. Why well, don't I want to see him outside of that? Is this one of those mysterious other friends you said you have? Yes, and why are you even talking to me in the first place? It's impolite to pass by someone you know without greeting them. The wolf rolls his eyes. Who gives a crap about that? Hey, if you didn't want to talk to me, you could have just ignored me. I never said I didn't want to. The guy's, the guy's a real thunderer, isn't he? Yo, Haruki, wait for me, you dipshit. I hear a voice shouting from the other floor alongside hurried steps. A saber cat comes running down the stairs, panting. Jeez, man, I should have wait for me. Great, thanks to hear this dog caught up to me. He looks at me. While he speaks, he also gestures to his friend. The tiger finally notices my presence and turns to look at me after catching his breath. Oh, do you look at that? It's Mishimaya-san. Please don't call me that. Mishimaya-san is my mother. I just call him... Let's not. The wolf shrugs. Anyway, have we met? No, uh, pretty much everyone in the school knows, school knows who you are. I suppose you got a good point. Either way, what's a big shot like you do, talk to this loser? He points to the wolf with his thumb. Haruki scowls, his brow twitch and his eyes narrow upon looking at the saber cat. Fuck you. How you wish, buddy. Haruki eyes the saber cat with a downright murderous look. Please don't tell me I'm going to have to break up a fight right now. I'm Kika, by the way. Kika Kasame. I'm the only, this guy's only friend. Or at least I thought I was. You're not my only friend. I have lots of friends. Lots of friends? You're cool, though, but don't flatter yourself. I'm going to punch you. Sure you are. I urge to stop giving him such a hard time. I wouldn't put it past him. Nah, it's all right. Little Wolfie here is tame. Oh, dear Lord. This guy's a death wish. Haruki's neck fur is bristled. His tail is lashing his bear and his fangs. Of all that is sacred, shut up. Anyway, not important. Aru, why didn't you tell me you knew? Should I just call you Hector-san? Uh, yes, that's fine. Also, Haru? 
Oh, fuck off, I don't have to tell you every detail of my life. There's this guy's just an annoyance that pops up every now and again. Hardly worth a mention. That was a little uncalled for. Oh, fuck you. Don't just give me the silent treatment either. Yeah, I see your family's weakness already. Keep ignoring him. Drives him crazy. I ditch you once, I can do it again. Oh, point taken. And you. He turns to me with fury in his eyes. Oh, he's not going to turn his annoyance on me, is he? I swear I'm innocent. I'm not the one giving you a hard time. When you're on your way to see the dog. Well, I didn't tell you that. Why else would you be here? Hey, when I asked you the same thing, you took offence to it. Oh, he takes offence to everything. I don't take it personally. Wow, Haruki's just silently fuming while glaring at this guy. Is, is this a secret code to deal with Haruki? Where was this knowledge all along? Is there a manual hidden somewhere? I still wish you told me you knew Hector Sam. We wanted to talk to him for a while now. You have? Haruki rolls his eyes. Oh yeah, you're a guy that thrives on attention, right? How do you feel about standing centre stage? What? Here comes the sales pitch. You know, I think it'd be perfect for the drama club. You've got this confident aura about you. You're handsome. The girls would love you. What? That's the exact same speech you gave me five minutes ago. So I ditched you in the first place. Hey, it's true. You both fit the criteria. What do you say, Hector Sam? I say. I'm confused. Come on, just say yes. I'm clever to need more guys. We're almost all women in there. Sorry, dude. I already have my hands full. I'm not joining the new club. Oh, well. Worth a shot. You already tried to recruit me over a dozen times. It's not just a shot. Can't persist him. It's a good trait to have. What's well, annoying? Say, is Harrow right? The only way to beat the student council president. Yeah, why? Hmm, I wonder if he'd be willing to join the drama club. Haruki and I both groan at the same time. I already asked him that once. For well, sake of full disclosure, I've asked him more than once. You just went around for the other times. You know Shuichi? Sure, I'm in the student council too, so I see him almost every day. Oh, how do you even have time to tend to both clubs at the same time? Well, I'm pretty sure you know how much prize you're juggling. Do you really find two clubs all that impressive? Well, it's not like it's a competition. Heh, <laughs> if you say so, pup. Pup? Come on, we're leaving, remember? Hmm. The wolf sighs, glaring at Kiga. What is it this time? Oh, nothing in particular. Just now that I got to thinking about it, probably shouldn't have any reason to be in the student council room. He doesn't. I already checked his classroom they said they thought he came here. I really hope he's not doing what I think he is. What you think he is? What are you talking about? He has a terrible habit of hoarding work. Well, he called him a few times keeping quiet about issues that need to be fixed so he could do it when no one was looking. I thought that after we basically staged an intervention and forced him to take a day off, he'd stop doing that. Wait, I think I remember that. Wasn't that back in April? There's no way I could forget that sort of thing. The day he came to pick me up before class. Shuichi having free time that early in the morning and not being at school is a damn miracle already. Yep, I was the one who spearheaded that motion because he'd been overworking himself really hard and that's not healthy. Of course, someone else had to go and screw up some papers so we had to whisk him back. Doesn't sound like that worked out all that well for you. You're telling me... That's great. Really lovely story. Can we go now? Well, you might hang back for a bit. I kind of want to go with Hector San, see if he's really there right now. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm going to ditch you. Is that so? Oh, fine by me. Go ahead and leave. Haruki glances at the exit for a few seconds, but otherwise stays rooted to his spot. Oh, I hate you. I knew it. Anyway, if you do the honours, Hector San. Um, sure. 
The saber cat makes a gesture towards the stairs if asking me to go first and I follow through with it. The three of us quickly make our way to the student council room. As soon as we try to open the door we find it unlocked. Yeah, someone's inside. This door should have been locked otherwise. We quickly go inside and... Oh, Hector? Quickly find Shuichi sitting at the table, a stack of papers next to him. Bingo! <sighs> what the hell are those glasses? Haruki starts laughing as soon as his eyes fall on Shuichi's eyewear. What well, no, is going on here? Kasama Kun and Haruki? Okay, Kasama, I can understand, but what on earth are you doing here, Haruki? Oh, it's me. These two idiots are the ones who dragged me here. We ran to Hector Sam when we were leaving the building. He told us he came here looking for you. We thought it was weird you'd be here since you're the one who said we didn't need to show up today because all the work was taken care of. That's all I can explain. I just... Take those glasses off before you start talking to us. You look like a dork. Haruki, shut up. You shut up. Don't tell me what to do, fag. Nice. Real classy move. Are uh, you happy now? I'm not unhappy. Friends, you lie to us. Well, lie is a really strong word. Oh, what would you call it then? Uh, okay, you got me there. How much? How much what? How much work needs to be done? Uh, it's not much. It's something I can handle in 20 minutes, 30 at most. Great, then we can do it in 15 if I help. Uh, you don't have to. I don't care, I'm doing it anyway. Besides, I plan on running for council president next year. I'm going to have a hard time if I have no idea what needs to be done. Right. You're kidding, right? We had one fan out the door already and now you want to stay for 15 more minutes? We're supposed to go to the arcade. Hey, you want us to leave fast? You can always pitch in and help. Are you crazy? Absolutely not. Well, at least I tried. Hector Sam? Sure, I don't mind helping. A carrot? No way. Well, I'm already here anyway. Might as well. You guys are killing me here. I don't want to bother anyone with this. I'm a member. This is literally my job. Oh, fine. The three of us take seats at the table, with Kiga quickly snatching away the pile of papers from which Shuichin divided among us. Aruki, of course, wants no part in it. Instead, he just leans back on his chair and puts his feet on the table. Please don't do that. Or oh, bite me! Shuichin's attempt at parley is quickly rebuffed. He won't even bother. He doesn't listen to anyone. You're goddamn right. Somehow, Rookie is a lot harder to take seriously when he's around the Saber Cat. He goes from acting like a delinquent to looking like a petulant child. A scary difference. Oh, is this it? My stuff is really easy to solve. Hence why I wanted to handle it on my own. No, nope, you already have a lot on your plate. Don't need to add more to it. Uh, by the way, Kikakoon, you said you plan to run for president next year. That's right. I've been here since my freshman year, so I already have a good idea on how stuff works and the workload involved. Besides, I'm Prez's right-hand man. Wow, really? That's impressive. Oh, he's not wrong. It's been especially useful lately after the other seniors quit. I guess that means Case Garrity has some competition. I don't tell him I said this, but I don't see him winning the elections. That's kind of sad. I can't get loose to some guy who hasn't stepped foot in the council before. No one would be crazy enough to vote for him. Do you know Keikun? We were classmates last year. Guy is crazy stuck up. Barely talks to anyone, too. Sounds like Keikun, all right. Oh, by the way, Prez, I don't know if you know this, but the school play is coming up, and I thought... Please don't. I'm getting really tired of having to turn you down. Sheesh, you're not even going to let me finish? I told you, the sales pitch is getting old and annoying. You should really cut that out. Whatever. Well, With enough perseverance, I'm sure I can get my way. That's kind of a creepy thing to say. Welcome to my world. Come on, our budget's already been slashed. We need more guys than the next play. At least give it a try. 
I already said no. Stop being pushy. Right. No! Our voices echo in unison, leaving the saber cat in stunned silence. Hey, you guys are mean. No, you're just annoyingly persistent. Annoying? What are you talking about? It's one of my best qualities. Not in a million years. Wow, that's rude. Just do your job in silence. Okay, I'm not even working. As far as I know, you're the only person who doesn't get a say. We clear? Oh, fuck off. Are you... Are you sure you two are friends? Yeah, best buds. Why you ask? Best buds my ass. See, the puppy agrees. You call me puppy one more time, I'll have you eating through a straw. Oh, point taken. Oh, I didn't know you two were friends. I guess I can see how that dynamic would work. At least now I know our friend group is the only dysfunctional one. Who are you calling dysfunctional, eh? The wolf sits up on his chair and glares at Shuichi. Oh, my mistake. You guys are the very picture of normality. Heh <laughs> sorry about that. Arukun is a bit of a temper. What? No way. Get out of here. Don't call me Harukun. Ah, come on, don't be that way, Harukun. You know you love it. Uh-oh, his fur is bristling up again. Seriously, it's like sitting right next to a ticking time bomb. Oh, let's just focus on getting this done fast, please. I really don't want to have to break up a fight right now. Sure, I can be quiet. Can you? Where's that information been this whole time? Yeah, yeah, but if you're not going to help, I'll do at least do shut up. Haruki cracks his knuckles and leans forward on his seat, but he stays at that. Shuichi and I stare between the two from the sudden sense of tension. Seriously, being around these two isn't good for my heart. Sometime later. Some I don't know how, we all managed to finish up the work and exit the building with all limbs still attached. Oh, it's the tensest 20 minutes of my life. I'll say. You're slipping, little Prez. You said you'd take 20 30 minutes to all the work yourself. It's all just 20 with the three of us working on it. Oh, I was otherwise preoccupied. We both were. Ah, uh, how so? Let's just leave it at that. As they say, ignorance is bliss. God, that's really boring. How do you two manage to do that sort of thing every day? What are you talking about? You didn't do anything, you just browsed your phone the whole time. Exactly, and I was still bored. Imagine if I was doing actual work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you guys will excuse us, I really need to get away from you two as fast as possible. Well, that's kind of rude. It's like you try to come up with an excuse inside the halfway that you weren't going to bother. Yeah, that's about how done with you two I am right now. What do we do? It's just too much tension for us to deal with. Tension? The fact you don't even realise what we're talking about scares me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. No way of missing out on anything, just let the homos be. Ah, huh? Haruki! Shuichi's face immediately drains of colour when the wolf calls us that. Ew, do I need to wash your mouth with soap? You insult basically everyone that talks to you. However, it seems to completely fly over the saber cat's head. Haruki probably calls far too many people that for Kiga to even notice. Like, not a blip on his gaydar. Fuck off, I'll curse however much I want. You do you, I think. Literally no one would want to do you except for maybe you. Huh, <sighs> like I care. You really need to get laid. And you really need to mind your own business. Okay. As pleasant this whole experience has been, we really should get going. In the meantime, do try not to kill each other. Yeah, you would never. He loves me too much. That's right, keep testing me, see what happens. Yeah, see you two later. Okay, see you on Monday, Prez. Yep, see ya. Later, cockwaffles. We walk away as fast as we can, as we can without looking like we're purposely trying to get away as fast as we can. Did, did he just call us cockwaffles? Yep. What does that even mean? 
Oh, it beats me. Probably nothing nice, that's for sure. Is it just me or did Haruki sound a bit more childish than usual? Uh, no, it wasn't just you. Kiga's apparently grabbed the wolf by the balls, so to speak. I've never seen him tame her. Is that an actual saying? Hmm, probably somewhere in the world, yeah. I'm too exhausted from the tension to find it funny. Oh, I feel you. Shuichi stretches his arms for a bit, rotating his shoulders and yawning. Man, it's good to finally be moving again. What were you even doing there? Didn't you go right to work as soon as the tests ended? Oh, I've been a little restless all week, not having time to work on stuff, so I decided to give everyone their day off and get to work myself. You are a legitimate workaholic. Oh, I can't disagree with you there. Speaking of, how did you fare in the tests? Mm, I think I did well. I'll probably get at least a 90 on them. Yeah, that's pretty good. Your dad should be persuaded by grades that high. Oh, I wish I could feel more confident in that. Don't be so negative. You'll just drive yourself crazy like that. Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, I'm not used to not obsessing about my problems. Jesus, you really are a type A personality. You need to let loose a little. Oh, believe me, I would if I knew how. Sounds like your dad managed to impart quite a few neuroses on you over the years. Hmm, is there something we could do together? Oh wait, does Chuichi even have time? Oh, by the way, are you free right now? Oh, uh, no, sorry. I've been mindful of my curfew, remember? Yeah, I was afraid of that. Was well, there anything you wanted? For starters, spend time with my boyfriend. Oh, uh, sorry, I can't. Unless... Unless what? Well, you could come over, maybe? Isn't your dad going to be home? Yeah, but he likes you, she won't mind you being over. We can't just can't be too obvious when he's around. That might prove difficult. Really? How come? Are you really going to keep your hands off me? Remember, I'm quite a catch. Oh yes, I will. You sure? More and more sure with each passing second. Okay, then I guess I can visit after all. No, oh, far from mind to cancel my offer. Nope, too late. No backsies. It's not long before we get to Shuichi's house. Thank God he lives nearby the school. I really was in the mood to grab a bus or anything of the sorts. Dad, I'm home. So, what's your time clock? I'm assuming he has you punch in one to make sure you're biting by your curfew. Ha uh ha, -huh, aren't you hilarious? There's no response whatsoever. The house is completely quiet as far as I can tell. Maybe he's not home? No, I can see his briefcase on the couch. He's probably just taking a nap. He does that after work sometimes. I wasn't aware that was a routine. It is, when he does when he's had a particularly exhausting day. Usually she's always in a bad mood during those. Oh. Here's hoping he raises in a little since we have a guest. Do I even still count as just a guest after 12 years? Well, as far as Dad is concerned, even Hitika is probably a guest. That's just cold. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go get changed. Be right back. You're welcome to do so too. You have a change of clothes with you. Now, nah, I wasn't planning on going in after class. I didn't bring one. Oh, gotcha. While Shuiji's away, I take a seat on the armchair, looking around myself for anything that might hold my interest. I've only been in here a couple of times before, so the whole place still feels a little alien to me. Can't help but feel a little on edge knowing Takahiko-san is supposed to be home. Not knowing where he is and him not even knowing I'm here really makes me anxious. Looking in the nearby coffee table, I spot the little origami box. Picked up very gingerly, manipulating it between my hands and examining it with curiosity. Know what I know now, this thing suddenly has a very different meaning from last time I saw it. The first time I saw it, I thought it was a bit weird that Shuichi kept all of these, alone having it immortalised in an acrylic box. But now, I find it kind of cute. I still think this thing is super ugly though. Really wish Shuichi should have framed from the better ones. Hey, what you looking at? Oh, hey, I was taking a look at this. The origami? Why? Well, now that I know what I know, I kind of got interested in it. 
Oh, you probably think it's a little creepy, don't you? Nah, I don't think so. Really? Yeah, it's kind of cute. Oh, I have to say, I didn't expect that to be your response. Really? What were you expecting? Well, I always had a little voice in my mind telling me it was creepy that I kept all these for so long. Well, sometimes the voice didn't come from the back of my mind, it came my dad criticising me for wasting so much space in my closet keeping the box with them. You know what? I can kind of see his point. Right. So, I don't know, it's just not what I expected. I guess I wasn't crazy this whole time, so I might feel a little annoyed to be wrong. And here I thought people would get happy when told they are not, in fact, acting like, acting like obsessive creeps. Yeah, I never said it made sense. Hopefully you'll stick with me even if I'm being weird or not making sense, or, well, you get the gist. I already have 12 years' experience with that job, and it's 24-7, buddy. Uh, point taken. Chuichi sits on the couch directly across from me. Despite how tense things were just a bit earlier thanks to that dynamic duo, he seems really relaxed and happy. Brings a smile to my face just seeing him like that. Oh, by the way, Sho Takahiko-san is home. Oh yeah, I checked his room when I went to get changed. You know, since it's always already a job, he's definitely taking a nap. Maybe we should be a little more quiet when we talk then. I wouldn't worry about that. A missile could fall in the neighbourhood and he wouldn't wake up. Well, realistically speaking, if a missile fell in the neighbourhood, he wouldn't wake up because he, you know, died. What? Of course not. He'd just wake up to find himself dead. How'd you wake up to find yourself dead? Dead people don't just wake up. I don't know. Maybe it's some zombie voodoo stuff. Really? Zombie voodoo stuff? That's so incredibly realistic and likely to happen. In my defence, I never claimed it was either of those things. Fair enough. Do you have any plans to talk to your dad about the volleyball club today? Uh, no way. Like I told you before, I'm going to leave that for after we get the results. You already said you did well. Why'd you need to wait? You don't really think he's just going to take my word for it, do you? Well, yeah, I do. You poor, sweet summer child. Don't look down on me for not having a weird childhood. You didn't have a weird childhood. No, not at all. Come on, you yourself are weird. By definition, that makes your childhood weird, too. Wow, thanks, I feel so loved. You're welcome. Shoichi! Takahiko-san's voice echoes from down the hall and Shoichi immediately jumps to his feet. The older husky walks into the living room, immediately stopping in his tracks when he sees me sitting on his chair. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, did we wake you? No, I set alarms I'd wake up right about now. His eyes fall straight on me and he stares at me in silence for a few seconds. Immediately I begin to feel nervous. I feel like I'm sweating from my forehead. I didn't know you were coming over, Hector. As soon as those words are spoken, he takes a seat at the couch, right next to the spot Shuichi had been sitting on. Shuichi bites his lip, looking at his father with uncertainty. He looks so nervous around him. It's all because he brought me over without asking. What are you doing? You're just going to stand there gaping all day like an idiot. Sit down, boy. All right. Shuichi quickly goes back to his seat, looking between the two of us. Meanwhile, Takahiko-san is just watching me. I feel really weird being stared at so intently. He spends quite a few seconds in silence. He'd always been a very quiet man. This isn't the first time something like this has happened, but... After what Shuichi told me last week when he spent the night, I suddenly feel really weird about the whole thing. So, it was exam week at school this week, wasn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, it was. Do you suppose you did well? I think. I didn't have a hard time answering the questions, at least. That's good. Hopefully Shuichi won't do too terrible, either. No, that's unfair. I always do well in my tests. Mm-hmm. And hopefully that streak will remain. Shuichi's been working really hard and studying a lot. I'm sure he'll do really well. He could stand to work harder, if you ask me. Kids nowadays have no sense of work ethic. Dad. What about your sister? Did you check up on her? Oh, I wasn't aware that I should. Takahigo-san raises a single eyebrow. His expression remains just as unreadable as always. 
I just can't tell what the man is thinking, especially because he's prone to long periods of silence. This is a first year in high school. It's your job as an older brother to take care of her. You can't really be that incompetent, can you? No, I'm sure she did fine. How? You just said you didn't check up on her. Are you just making stuff up now? I can ask her now. Ah, forget it. There's no point now. It's difficult to bite my tongue. I know if I tried saying they'd just make things harder for Shuichi. But this kind of crap makes me furious. I caught a glimpse of it during Takahiko-san's party a while ago. Shuichi kept steering me away from his father for most of the time. Not to mention that the husky was far too busy entertaining his guests. But now, he's just been vicious, and for no reason. This isn't Takahiko-san I remember. This is why Shuichi always refused to let me come over after his parents divorced. What happened here? You know, the first thing Shuichi did after the exams was over was head to the student council room and start working there, alone. Shuichi is the most hard-working person I know. She cut him some slack. Shuichi choked, staring with wide open eyes in the face of people's shock and terror. For a reason, I realized what I was doing, I was talking back to Takahiko-san. Just couldn't stand having him talk to Shuichi like this anymore. The man leans forward on his seat, his eyes suddenly grown even colder than usual. He stares at me with pure detachment I did not think possible. Is that so? Oh, he's just saying that. You know how he is. He has a tendency to raise mouth and all. You should just... I don't believe I was talking to you. Don't speak unless you are spoken to. All right. Sorry, sir. I feel rage boiling inside of me. I have to physically grip the arms of the chair, otherwise I might actually try to punch this man. I appreciate you somehow thought it appropriate to offer me your opinion without being asked. However, I'd appreciate if you didn't try to talk about my son as if I didn't know him. But you're... Hector. Shuichi cuts me off, staring at me with pleading eyes. I can already tell he wants me to shut up more than anything else at this moment. I'm just making things harder for him. Even I can tell that Takahiko-san is very annoyed right now, even despite his icy exterior. But... If you know your classic Doctor Who very well, you might sense a bit of Davros in Takahiko-san. It is very, very deliberate. I hate this character this much. And I'm quite happy to see him exterminated by Daleks before the end of the route, if you're listening, Basket. I can't. I just can't swallow this even one more minute. You're being unfair to him. Of course I'm going to say something. You expect too much. I expect competence, nothing more. Just as my father expected of me. I don't care about what kind of baggage you have. You're taking things too far. Ah, I've done it now. I've let my temper completely take me over and shout out those last few words. Shuichi whimpers on his seat, clearly her are horrified. See a flash of anger with the older husky's eyes for about even a second. Still enough to send a shiver right up my spine. Is that so? His voice is even more monotone than usual. The man stands up, looking down on me with a hardened expression. Pardon me is sounding an alarm inside my head, telling me I screwed up. I'll only say this once. As long as he lives under my roof, my son will obey my rules and work to fulfil the high expectations I have of him. I will not have anyone urging him to be a religious delinquent. If you cannot follow these rules, you are not welcome here. What? You're kicking me out? Is I actually not to be a dick to him? Get out of my house, Mr. Meyer, and don't come back until you can respect me in here. You can't be serious. Shuichi's been crazy. You're not going to listen to him, are you? Give me the looks away from me. Shuichi's pressed himself so far back on the couch, it's almost like he's melting into it. He's clearly so uncomfortable just being here. And he's completely avoiding my gaze. My heart sinks as soon as I see it. Shuichi? Leave! Shuichi doesn't speak a single word. So I can expect him to go against his father to defend me, but he won't even look at me. Fine. I grab my bag and walk out the door. And we are going to leave things there. <clears throat> As I can actually feel my voice starting to give out. So we're going to save this here and we will be picking things up on that day um, probably in February I think we're going to try and uh, 
get back to more tennis ace as I say basket feel free to bring on the Daleks anytime and that's it I'm going to quickly wrap up before my voice gives out entirely so as always thanks for watching and uh, thanks to all my Patreon and Kofi supporters I very much appreciate you and my top people on Patreon are Grizz, Evan King, David Taylor, Sumuto, Ryan Hall, Anubis Silverwind, Ida Corval, Brandon Bradford, Bastian, Lark Huskerton, Marcus, Kopi, Gunnar Muller, Tiger Cub, Sindri Dragowolf, Dissonance, Besuksu, Globus Visser, Kartek and Burnt Toast. So all being well, we'll have some more uh, backbone in the week and I can't remember what I plan now for Saturday. We might have some more Minotaur Hotel, but it also depends on uh, what else comes out. But until whatever it is happens, have a good one and bye for now. <laughs>